Because I'm sick of vegans talking about, oh, we, we save lives because we... Okay, we can talk about bugs and all that type of field mice and all that type of stuff that you run over with your big machines when you're getting your bread out. Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So I'm making yet another response video to this anti-vegan wacko from Australia, Isaac Butterfield. I don't know what he is. He's like some comedian or something like that. And every year or so he feels the need to like try to get the attention of vegans. Because I, I see what he's doing. He just tries to, to say all this complete nonsense to get a reaction out of us. And it's working. Here I am rea reacting to him. But this video of his is so just full of misinformation and it's ironic ironic because he's the one accusing vegans of spreading propaganda and it's apparent he doesn't even know what propaganda is and it's ironic because as I'll show you he's the one that's truly spreading propaganda but let's jump right into his sad little rant here in between a break in the news there was a hilarious ad that is nothing short of propaganda and propaganda has been very popular throughout history. The Nazis used it. I mean, come on, mentioning vegans in the same breath as the Nazis because some advertisement you saw for veganism had some propaganda. You see what a low life scumbag he is trying to think, make his viewers think that vegans are like Nazis. Well, first of all, let's see what propaganda is because like I said, he seems to have no clue. This is the first definition that came up and I searched for it and it seems pretty relevant. Information, especially of a biased or misleading nature used to promote or publicize a particular political cause or point of view. And when you look up the most like just textbook classic form of propaganda, pretty much every search result returns this, something from the United States government trying to get people to join the military. But no, he brought up Nazis. And speaking of misleading, to show you how misleading Isaac is here, trying to compare vegans to Nazis, let's check out this article here and see some classic examples of successful propaganda in media such as this video about the Dallas Cowboys and don't mess with Texas. So is Texas related to the Nazis or the Dallas Cowboys maybe? Or just maybe football in general. This 2015 Super Bowl ad is used as a classic example. And furthermore, these ads here from burger companies. So is McDonald's related to the Nazis too, Isaac? And it's the nastiest propaganda of all time, allegedly. Wow, such hyperbole. Um, you better look that word up, Isaac. Joseph Goebbels runs the, the propaganda war machine for the vegans. Uh, that's just uh, something I heard on Reddit. Again, nice job comparing vegans to Nazis, but he, this is where he likes to say, well, I'm just a comedian, don't take me so seriously. Well then, don't talk a bunch of nonsense about vegans in comparison to Nazis, you effing idiot. Uh, but yeah, apparently he does, the ghost of Joseph, and uh, he's doing a really good job because this is the they come out with. Fruit and veg. Nice. Usually avoid this section, to be honest. Okay, it's a rickety old trolley. Oh, she's walking up past yummy vegan burgers that will probably kill you. Pork. Pork. Evil pork. Shortcut bacon. Pork mints. Pork chops. Mmm. Now uh, she's ticking up. Oh, can you do that with notes? Wow. Learned something new. Oh no. Oh my god, where is she? Okay, so this is the part of the advertisement where he claims, oh, vegan propaganda. So let, let's be objective as, as much as we possibly can. You know, let's see if there's any misinformation or misrepresentation here. Any kind of, just kind of deceitfulness, untruthfulness about what you're about to see with the rest of this advertisement. It looks like Rolf Harris's and the Dalai Lama's dungeon. It's terrifying. There's lots of pigs. Pigs on the ground. Okay. Pigs aren't. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's pretty <laughs> up. That's not great. I hope this is footage they found and they didn't recreate it. Oh, why do you say that, Isaac? Because anyone who's not a complete sociopath sees that these examples of animal agriculture, how your meat is produced, are clear examples of animal cruelty. Um, you didn't know. You didn't know. Did you? There's a kind of There's choice. A kind of choice. Choose Animals Australia. Me. You didn't know. Dot org. I'm really surprised to see that on TV at six o'clock at night. Oh, your little baby eyes can't handle that, Mr. Tough Guy Isaac. Seen what really happens in the production of the food, the meat that you so lovingly, gleefully eat. I mean, let's see. Is this really propaganda? Is there something misleading about it? Some kind of misinformation? Deceptive? No. This is. 
the true reality of what happens. And most people are blissfully unaware of how what they're eating at dinner, as far as animal products goes, how it actually becomes some kind of burger on their dinner plate. Most countries have strict laws. You can go to jail for this, guys. If you if you go into a slaughterhouse or a place like this and take footage of what's really happening in animal agriculture. But no, put a little bit of footage out there. And it's not that graphic, Isaac. If your little baby eyes can't handle this, you can't handle the more graphic stuff that's out there. Just search through YouTube to see what really goes on in the production of meat. But yeah, this is too much for Isaac to handle. And I know it is probably necessary for people to understand what factory farming looks like because it's not okay. It is not good. Well, by saying that, Isaac, you are admitting that there's nothing misleading about this vegan advertisement that you saw. What you said is just the worst propaganda of all time on par with the Nazis and other crazy hyperbole like that. But you just said, this is what happens. And well, then why'd you make this stupid video then? But it happens to be the only way we can feed a population that is nutritious and beneficial for all of them. And you can say that plants are there. Shut up, all right? You are incorrect. Oh, really, Isaac? So you're saying you can't eat a healthy diet as a vegan? It's somehow nutritionally deficient? Well, please, present your evidence. I would love to see this, man. You cherry-pick data. You cherry-pick evidence. You've been lied to. You've learned that from memes. Shut up. Well, I think that statement there is very personally revealing about Isaac. I think he's projecting on vegans about how he finds his information through memes. Probably not the best way to do it there, Isaac. If you truly want to find out if eating a completely plant-based diet is nutritionally adequate, don't look at memes, don't listen to influencers, look at the positions of health organizations from around the world and see if there's any sort of scientific consensus after having reviewed the relevant research. And the answer is a resounding yes, assuming that you're eating a balanced, sensible vegan diet rather than some extreme restrictive starvation diet of juicing or something like that. But Isaac says, us vegans, we're cherry picking. Well, let's look at his own country, the government of Australia's dietary guidelines and see what they say about eating a completely plant-based diet. And, and they're saying the same thing. Appropriately planned vegetarian diets, including total vegetarian or vegan diets are healthy and nutritionally adequate. They go on about saying how it should be well planned. I just cannot see a world where we do not eat meat. We've been eating it for the entire history of humankind. Such a horrible argument. I mean, Isaac is just a walking textbook case of, of fallacies, you know, errors in logic and reasoning. And this is a form of the appeal to nature fallacy. Like, yeah, people for millions of years, it's been natural for them to eat meat. It's just what humans do. So therefore it's good. We ought to keep eating meat. You know, I mean, this is horrible reasoning. Like for all of humankind, people have murdered other people. Therefore, we should just keep on murdering other people. See how there's, it's just not, just because something was done in the past and was done for a long time even, doesn't make it right to do in the present or doesn't make it moral in any way just because it was done in the past. And yes, you will always hear people say, you should just go vegan, go vegan, go vegan. But we don't want to go vegan because we would then, you know, we would not. It just, like there's so many arguments. You can talk about anemia, lack of B12, lack of protein, but it just sucks. This video is so ironic. He's calling out vegans for spreading misinformation and propaganda. And Isaac is like like my poster child of anti-vegan misinformation and propaganda. I mean, there's nothing true about what he's saying. He has no facts, no evidence to support anything. His only evidence is this, I say it really loudly and authoritatively, and it must be true because I'm a big, tough, old, straight guy. Listen to me. But no, let's, let's listen to your government, the Australian government's position. Let me show it to you once again because I know you're kind of slow when it comes to learning and education type things Isaac. It says plainly here in English that appropriately planned vegan diets are not nutri nutritionally deficient. It doesn't say anything about you're not getting enough protein or, or get anemia from lack of iron, you idiot. And also I'll leave links to my blood test playlist. Yes, I've been getting my blood tested as a vegan since 2012. I went vegan in 2010. And unlike what Isaac is saying here, I'm not deficient in iron or B12 or protein or anything like that, just complete nonsense. So look for the link down below and I'll put a card up here. And also Isaac, where's your blood test videos? We wanna see those, bro. 
It's a terrible group to be a part of. It's so dull and boring and sh** it. All right, it's hit the bell. Yet another fallacy here. This is called the ad hominem fallacy. When you attack your opponent's character or personality traits rather than the argument or evidence or something more relevant. Secondly, what he's attacking here is just completely baseless and false. There's nothing dull or boring or whatever he said there about being vegan. Just making stuff up. Propaganda, misinformation. Not to mention all the animals that vegans kill when they grow their little crops, but anyway. Oh, so only vegans grow crops. Yeah, and, and meat eaters don't eat plants. Only vegans eat, eat plants. And livestock are never fed plants. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, any animal harmed in the production of any plant, it's a vegan f thing. It's a, the vegan's fault, right? Well, I responded to this nonsense several years ago when he made a nonsense video about vegans harming all these animals. Apparently, he doesn't learn. I got something out of it, at least. At least I coined the phrase the combine harvester argument out of his nonsense video from back then but let, let's see him go let's see him use his, his little brain here and try to like pin any kind of accidental incidental animal death on vegans no f it let's talk about that because i'm sick of vegans talking about oh we, we save lives because we okay we can talk about bugs and all that type of field mice and all that type of stuff that you run over with your big machines when you're getting your bread out so i think we all see where he's going here we've seen this happen a million times it's the result of someone not knowing what vegan means they think it means well first of all let's see what it really actually means it's a stance against animal cruelty and exploitation animal cruelty and exploitation doesn't say anything in here about how we're absolutely perfect beings and if a, a caterpillar or earthworm gets ran over by a turnip truck as it delivers the turnip ups to the market that veganism is null and void no these are just bizarre definitions that anti-vegan idiots like isaac come up with to try to define vegan in such a way that it's absolutely impossible to be vegan this is another fallacy this is also known as the the nirvana fallacy or the appeal to futility fallacy which means yeah we can never solve the problem of harm i mean there's always going to be some kind of harm involved in producing food in our case as far as plants goes there's unintentional harm but in his case there's the unintentional harm plus the all the intentional harm that comes in the form of slaughter but hey you know just because we run over a caterpillar on the way to the market that justifies in his mind the slaughtering of 80 billion animals a year but what about this this is hilarious well not hilarious if you're a duck but in the five years leading up to 2013 new south wales rice farmers killed 200,000 native ducks to protect their fields and you're blaming this on vegans because we consume more rice than meat eaters which is false or that we consume more grains than livestock nope that's also false at least 100 mice are killed per hectare per year to grow grain that's a lot of f grain that they have to kill and a lot of mice mate i mean i just have to laugh i mean is isaac just completely stupid and ignorant or is he knowingly and willingly spreading misinformation aka anti-vegan propaganda here like isaac why do you think farmers grow so much grain to feed vegans no it's it's to feed livestock livestock eat more grain than vegans or even humans do in fact the united states could feed 800 million people with the grain that they produce to feed livestock 800 million people and that's a huge number because we have just a little over 300 million people here in the united states but no this is a vegan problem yeah growing all this grain is a vegan problem no it's a problem because so much of it is fed to your livestock isaac and you're so this is why i'm so pissed off but you blame this on vegans no this is a thing that you're responsible for your practices are responsible for all this grain being uh, produced and all these like mice being killed but you blame it on vegans which is so disingenuous Ingenuous. And I don't understand why people even listen to you because nothing you've said so far is factually true. You're just making crap up and blaming it on vegans. If the present will play out like the past has, Isaac actually responded to my videos from the past, but he never had any facts. He just comes back and tries to poke fun at me or just make fun of vegans. Isaac, let me challenge you. Like I said, everything you've shown here is just factually and logically untrue. You're full of fallacies. Your reasoning is backwards, blaming vegans for the production of so many grains. I mean, if you do respond to me, Isaac, I would like to see some facts 
or evidence rather than you just making crap up. I mean, that's nothing. Anyone can make up any kind of crap. I mean, at least I do the, the honor and service of showing you my, the sources of my information, ex explaining the logic and reasoning. But I understand, especially through doing my Friday night live streams where I invite anti-vegans like yourself to come and try to debunk veganism, that 99.9% .9 of you guys, you anti-vegans, are just utterly, 100% incapable of producing a, just a basic coherent like logical argument or producing actual evidence-based information you guys just just make crap up and i've seen this over and over again so again if i seem a little perturbed and angered right now it's because of this i'm just over idiots like isaac just making nonsense up about vegans and spreading this nonsense to their large impressionable followings who go on themselves to repeat this nonsense to others and this war of misinformation and propaganda from anti-vegans continues i mean hey it keeps me going here this is why I make response videos. This is my specialty now, responding to anti-vegan misinformation because there seems to be an infinite supply. No thanks to people like Isaac. So leave your questions and comments down below. Give me your thoughts about anti-vegan misinformation, anti-vegan propaganda. What should we do about people like Isaac and Joe Rogan and others? What can we do? So I want to hear your thoughts down below. Hit like, share this video, and until next time, guys, remember, it doesn't suck being vegan.